Part 10 of how to make a cast net. This will be hand line and tuck strings. Okay, so all you got your lead line completely on. And as you see, it all came out even. You got three meshes in between each lead. That's where I started. As you can see, that's the tuck string right there. But I had to add extra, extra ropes. I had to smash another one down. And add the extra eight feet because I only had a 50 foot rope. Alright, so two things I left out in the very first video. What you're going to need is a swivel, for one. And this is a 100 pound tuck string. And it's pretty simple. I got 16 of them, which is 8 20 foot long. And then you just loop them through the swivel. And these are half hitches. All the way up, just to tie them on until you get to the end. And you put a complete hitch, and that's done. Put the hand line on, it's pretty simple. I got braided rope, and you just loop the braided rope, rope back through itself, like that. You smash it down. And I got the same on the other end. As you can see, for the hand line. Like so. But I went an extra step there and looped it back through twice. That's up to you. That's totally optional. Simple to do. Okay, so this knot is a little bit different than the rest. Only got 16 because I got 16 wires. Most nets, here's your 100 pound test. These are your tuck strings. Most nets have 20 or more, but it's not truly necessary. Which comes on a roll, which I left these hanging out in the yard for a while. I'll try to unkink them. The best way to do this is, uh, Spread your net out on the ground, but seeing how this is for demonstration purposes. Wow, I got a mess. Alright, take a 100 pound line. And to get them all even, since I got 16 wideners, and I got 16 tuck strings, it's simple. You just feed them down the end of your tuck strings. So you got to find a widener somewhere. I have one right there. Scounds out right on my lead line, so I don't want to do that. So I'll go one to the side of the lead line. You just gotta find a tuck string. Right there. There's your widener. So you wanna come right below your widener. You got 16 tuck strings and 16 wideners, so this may come out really even. It's not, it's very simple. Actually, this will be coming down through here like so. It's a 100 pound test, so it's really hard to tie. You might need pliers, which you do to tighten it, unless you got some really tough hands. So you just wrap it around three times. One, two, three. You want to make sure your tuck strings are longer than your net so you have enough to tie. Okay, I got three loops. I wrap it around three times. And you just push back up through all three loops and tighten it. And this is a 100 pound test, so it's kind of hard to work. Like so. really tough strength. And the good thing about this knot is, the more you pull on it, the tighter it gets. So you can pull on that knot as much as you want. And it's just going to get tighter and tighter. And seeing how you're going to tuck string it, every time you throw your net and pull back on it, your tuck strings are going to pull your net, your lead line into a bag. And that's basically it. And that's your knot right there. Like I said, the best way to do this is spread your net out on the ground all your tuck strings under your net and go around just make sure you get them even you know and any even number of tuck strings will work I only have 16 because I got 16 winders and it makes it really easy to get them even but you know just if you got 20 count the number of loops and knots which you know I already showed you in the last video how to do 
and then just divide that by the number of touch strings you got and it tells you how many loops meshes in between you need to get them all even. It's the main thing is getting them even and make sure that now now it's fine and the more you tie on it uh, of course you're going to clip this off the extra and you want to get some pliers and pull this tight like so but I'm not going to tighten this knot up just because because it's just going to get tighter and tighter every time I throw the net. And uh, that's, that's basically it. And that's gonna, these will all go up through your horn. And that'll be your finished product. And I uh, uh, appreciate everybody viewing these videos. And I'd like to thank uh, LakelandWeb.net for producing and posting the videos to YouTube. I'd like to thank YouTube for hosting them. And I'd like to thank uh, KaribeWeb.net for uh, hosting my website. So, appreciate it. And there might be one more of me throwing it out in the water and actually catching fish. So, possibly one more. Thank you.